Hello everyone, this is question one of uh, paper one from 2025 for Edexcel. So it says the point P lies on a curve with the equation Y is equal to F of X, where X is a member of the set of all real numbers. Find the point P, uh, find the point to which P is mapped when the curve with the equation Y equals F of X is transformed to the curve with the equation uh, Y is equal to F of X add two. Okay, so first of all, let's think about what type of transformation this is f of x add 2 is a translation two units in the negative x direction, okay? So our original curve, let's just draw some generic curve. Let's say our curve looked like that. The curve is going to be like that. The whole thing is going to have moved 2 to the left, and that is a translation. So the point 6 uh, minus 4 is going to go to um, minus, it's going to go to 4 minus four because the whole third thing has moved two to the left so therefore two is going to go off the x value so that's part a a translation you could say it's a translation uh by vector minus two zero okay part b um right the inverse okay so this y is equal to f to the minus one of x now geometrically an inverse is a reflection in the line y equals x so when you reflect something in the line y equals x, if we had a coordinate there, which was xy, and we reflect it in the line y equals x, it becomes yx. So the coordinates switch over when you reflect something in the y-axis. So the original point, 6 minus 4, is going to map onto minus 4, 6. You just swap them over when you reflect something in the x-axis. Okay, next one. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. So the next one is we have got y is equal to 2 times the modulus of f of x uh, minus 3. Now we should think about this in terms of the order of operation, so bid mass. So first of all, let's think about y is equal to the modulus um, of f of x. Well, the modulus f of x is going to change from 6 to minus 4 is going to go to 6, 4. So the coordinate of the modulus is going to go to 6, 4. Then we're going to have 2 times the modulus of f of x, which is going to be a stretch by scale factor 2 parallel to the y-axis. So that's going to go from 6, 4. It will then map onto 6, 8, because the y value has been stretched by 2. Then finally, what have we got? We've got the modulus 2 times f of x minus 3 which is a translation by vector 0 minus 3. So the whole thing's going to move down by 3. So the y value is going to go down by 3. So the point, which is currently 6, 8, is going to map onto 6, 5. So 6, 5 is going to be the point uh, that that one ends up as. Perfect. OK, I'm going to do these questions uh, one at a time. So I hope you found that helpful. And I'll see you for the next question in a moment.